I'm just still scared about what happened yesterday. And Tonight, the city of Uvalde is mourning the loss of 21 of their own 19 students, some 8, 9, and 10 years old, as well as two teachers who are also mothers. And these are the innocent faces gone too soon in a horrific moment of gun violence. This after another mass school shooting. This time it's happening right here in Texas. Tonight, our KXA news team is down in Uvalde getting answers as to how this senseless shooting happened. And they're telling the stories of those lives taken in this horrible tragedy. KXN's Sarah Rahman has been speaking with people who have lost friends there, even family, to the shooting yesterday. She's joining us live now from where a vigil was just held for victims. Tara, what are you seeing and hearing from the Uvalde community tonight? Yeah, Britt, Robert, just moments ago, this entire area was packed with support. Community members leaning on each other during that vigil. Now, that support is coming even from outside the community. I spoke with a couple women earlier today from Eagle Pass, Texas, who didn't know anyone affected, but just wanted to pay their respects. So many people trying to heal here today, including one little boy I spoke with earlier today who attends Robb Elementary and is still trying to process the fact that some other children he knew didn't make it home last night. Giovanni Gomez loves playing football. He also likes science. I got to do experience and stuff. Now, the nine-year-old is grappling with emotions even adults are trying to understand. It's hard for all the parents that lost their kids. Giovanni was inside Robb Elementary on Tuesday when an announcement rang on the intercom. It said, there is an active shooter on campus. Please go inside your classrooms. He and his other third grade classmates hid. We had to go like that in case if like the shooter like hits the window and, and it comes flying in our classroom. And although the children had lots of questions. What's happening and like, why did this happen? And like, why is he doing this? They did their best to comfort each other. We just like stay, stood next to each other, like sit next to each other and like we just hold on to each other like hugging. Giovanni says he was scared and still is. I'm just scared that like if I go back to school it's going to happen again. Right now he can't find the words for everything he's feeling. But he's grateful for his teachers who protected him. They're standing in the door in case of the if the shooter breaks in, the teacher will block the bullets with their bodies so we can run and save our lives. So that he could see his mom again. I was, I was glad I made it. Now, Giovanni's parents tell us that they are very much aware that he could have been one of those victims and they are very grateful tonight that they're able to hug him. Now, there is a memorial fund set up by the school district at this point for all these grieving families, whether it's for medical expenses or those funeral costs. You can find that information online at kxan.com. Britt, Robert? No child should ever have to say those things or think those things. Bahara, thank you so much. She's a strong little boy. Yeah.